It's Dave Johan once again for Punch Out Boxing. Please be joined by the victorious Ishmael Davis. So how are you, man, after that win? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm ready to go home, chill, chill with the family, chill with my friends, enjoy a little week or two off, and then back to the gym, man. I mean, look, to be fair, it's, sorry, to be fair, it's not too far for you as well, so it's only up the road. So, you know, nice leisurely drive home and that as well after a win. Just wanted your thoughts on um, on the weight, should we just say. Did it did it annoy you? Did it anger you? I never got a chance to speak to you yesterday when it was all happening. What was going on in your head when you when you saw the scales, when you heard what was happening? Listen, I was thinking, at first I was thinking, what the hell, man? Like, we've had 10 weeks, we've known for 10 weeks. So it's like, how have you not made the weight with professionals? He's never not made the weight before. He fought in December against Kevin Nagyako. How have you not made the weight? But do you know what it is? It's yes, that was in that was yesterday. I'm a man. I respect him. He come up to me straight away. He said, "Ish, I'm sorry. I, could, I just couldn't make the way," and I respect it. So we made an agreement. He stuck to it. We got the fight on and put on a, a wonderful fight for the for the fans. So you know, leave it in the past and let's move forward, man. I mean, you guys have shared some rounds sparring. You, you know each other a bit as well. What was it like? in there as opposed to having the spa and stuff was it a case of i know you i know what you're going to be doing how does it how does it work listen i knew we were going to come i knew he's a tough guy um but i was ready like i said i train hard you get me so don't get me wrong i'm a human at times you might feel tired in there but you push through and i showed it tonight with a unanimous like a wide gap no one's ever beat Troy like that and i've just shown levels so i'm ready for anyone man and what does 2024 bring for you now after this win because Troy Williamson is a big name isn't it Ishmael it's not like you're beating uh, a guy on the way up or a journey when you, you fought someone with a name a big scalp yeah man well you know I'm ready for anyone I'm ready for all the challenges this is what I'm here for for the challenges I'm here to show the youth and you know people where I'm from that you can do anything you want to if you put your mind to it and I get up every day I train hard and I'm in the gym and I'm trying to change my life so whoever Whoever wants it, let's do this, man. And I'm also mandatory for the British. So when that fight comes, I'm ready for it. But I keep saying it. I'm ready for Kevin Agyako. He just beat Troy. Let's get that fight made. You know, I'm sure Eddie Hearn can make that fight ASAP. He's waiting for a fight. I'm ready to go again. You know, let me have a bit of time off in here. Let's get that fight made, man. I mean, ideally, you'd want that over in Leeds with possibly like a Jack Bateson on the card or something like that as well. But... You'd fight him anywhere over in over in Ireland as well. I mean, there's talks of Katie Taylor and Cameron as well, isn't there? So you never know. Let's get that fight made, man. I'm ready for it. Let's get it made. It was very finely as well. How how good was Dalton Smith tonight? He was excellent, man. Dalton's my good friend, and I'm just so happy for him. You know, he did what he said he was gonna do. We spoke about it in Arizona when we were um, supporting Sonny, and you know, we're all winning, man. You know, so it's it's a nice feeling, man. It's nice to see people winning as well. Good stuff. I'll let you get back to uh, that motorway driving that we both got to do, but uh, all the best from Punch-Out Boxing and well done, mate. Yeah, man. Thank you, bro.